Hello, beautiful world. Today, I am going downtown to try a wonderful place called Vegan Bear. It's in the Yonstream Market. It's right in front of your Ryerson University uh, with all the food trucks and stuff area over there. So if you're a student, you know, you can go over there and just, you know, have a bite to eat and just so the food over there uh, is awesome. Today it was uh, Easter and Earth Day, but specifically uh, the event was for Earth Day because today marks the, well you're seeing this on uh, two days later, but uh, April 22nd, 2019 marks the 49th year, 49th anniversary. So I managed to record the majority of the speech. Some of the beginning of the speech wasn't caught on camera in time, so the rest of the speech was. I managed to get some footage of the cake as well. I forgot to get footage of the lemon zest cake that was there and it was delicious. He's talking about the history of time, Earth Day. This resulted in the creation of entities such as the Environmental Protection Agency in the United States and many other initiatives around the world to address the growing recognition of the impact humans have on the Earth. We need to continue to raise this awareness as we are fast approaching a point of no return. The United Nations Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change issued a special report in October of 2018 advising that we might only have 12 years to drastically change our course before putting into motion a potentially irreversible chain of events. Here we are in April of 2019. The clock keeps on ticking and we're quickly running out of time. This year's Earth Day is centered on the protection of all species. The world is facing the sixth mass extinction, one of the most significant extinction events since the wiping out of dinosaurs from the planet 65 million years ago. But unlike the fact of the fate of the dinosaurs, the rapid loss of species today is the result of human activity. Awareness around the negative impact of fossil fuels as a contributor to global warming and the loss of biodiversity is now well established. However, despite the science being available to us, the connection with animal agriculture to these issues is often ignored. We are well aware of the negative impact that plastics are having on our oceans. Most individuals, however, are unaware that the vast amount of plastics in our waters are not straws and six-pack rings and plastic grocery bags, but instead are related to the commercial fishing industry. The same industry is responsible for the destruction of vast quantities of sea life. Similarly, many know of the annihilation of our rainforest and the dreadful effect it is having on biodiversity. There's an increased awareness of the deforestation of the Amazon is being used to grow soy. Unfortunately, many don't realize that this is not to produce tofu, but instead is being used as feed to grow animals for human consumption. Increasing the awareness of the impact of animal use on the environment and pushing change is one that needs to happen for both the top down in places like governments and corporations, as well as at the grassroots level by reaching out and educating individuals. By supporting groups like Nation Rising, Climate Save, Extinction Rebellion, Liberation TO, we can facilitate the changes that are needed at the top. We can increase awareness of the direct impact we make through our personal choices. Adopting a plant-based diet could be the single biggest way to reduce one's environmental impact plate. on the earth. According to a recent study by the University of Oxford, for the cake. removing animals from one's diet could reduce an individual's carbon footprint in regards to food by up to 
If we all move to an animal-free diet, global farmlands could be reduced by up to 75 percent, which is an area equivalent to the size of the United States, China, Australia, and the EU combined. Although we may not be able to directly affect those at top, we can still lead by example and have a massive effect by influencing those around us to make similar changes. Many of us here are vegans and animal rights activists. And in order to effectively reach others, we need to be ready to work with them where they are and encourage them to take further steps. Yes, we should give a clear vegan message, but we need to do it in a manner that will empower individuals to make these changes themselves. When someone is plant-based, vegetarian, flexitarian, or even doing Meatless Mondays, we should celebrate this as a win. There are more aligned with our common goals than those who are not considering the ramifications of their choices. We can always be supportive of what, of what one is doing while still encouraging them to make further connections. We can still turn this around. By working together with groups and individuals, we can make the necessary changes for all Earthlings to continue on this shared planet. Thank you, everyone. So, as I said, we're happy to be here to celebrate the opening of Vegan Bear. We've got this wonderful cake out of the uh, delicious Kiros. And we also have one other announcement I want to make today. And I want to mention that there's a great vegan uh, event happening next Saturday called Veg Talks being put on by Plant Based Revolution. There will be lots of vegan food to sample and buy, and a draw for a case of Beyond Burgers and Sausages. Woo -hoo! Woo! There will be three speakers, including Isaac, ask yourself around. No, not going. Gabriel Guy, Gaia is I, Nader, and Kevin, Kevin Leahy, who will help us in teaching how to better advocate the non-vegan non world. Please check it out on Facebook under Bed Talks. Thank you, everyone. We will now have some cake. You can see this delicious cake. I'm bringing this one for my mom. It's chocolate. It's got like the instant coffee and cocoa and the, like white flour and it's got like cocoa for the icing and stuff and it's super delicious. It has uh, chocolate covered strawberries and uh, candied cherries and blueberries. You can see some blueberries still left but like this is so super delicious. And it's too bad that you guys watching didn't get to try it, but it's super delicious. What would you like to say about your wonderful business? I would like to say that I'm pretty happy for what happened today with the people that came today. And uh, it just feels good to feed people good food and have a good time. And delicious food. Help the world and show people how veganism is helping the world. And that's why we're celebrating Earth Day here today. Earth Day and Easter and our, Monday. Easter Monday and yeah. our official uh, launch party. Awesome. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. Follow us on Vegan Bear, vegan bear Food on Instagram. Awesome. And Vegan Bear on Facebook. Yes, thank you so much. I love you guys so, so, so much. If you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Be sure to check out my other channels. My comedy channel, my vlog channel, and my gaming channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays. My vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. And my gaming channel for awesome playthroughs and wonderful streaming. I love you guys so, so, so much. Mm -hmm.